Uh, right. I gotta. Yeah, these are all the same, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I was seeing if that was right. If it was on, I should say. Uh, I gotta put this on my phone. Yeah, I don't know why I watched it, it was so dumb. A uh, fanboy video. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, and it could twist it completely just spaced. Um, oops, I gotta turn up my brightness. I forgot that. Go live. Yes. There we go. But yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like the writing is on the wall, but weirdly no one sees it. I don't know, that's just strange to me that no one sees all of that. Stupid with uh, mic yourself at the helm. And, um, yeah, I would say that's not really being a fanboy, but. That would kind of be lying because Sony just makes better games than Microsoft. And I don't know, I think with Microsoft we're just going to get a bunch of bad games. And I don't know why people want that. It just really makes no sense to me. But I, I understand, even though it's a freaking stupid reason that obviously people want to see Xbox to see because obviously they grew up in Xbox. But I guess that's not a totally stupid reason, you know, of course. But at the same time, like, for example, yes, I'm not going to see that I would like to see my, I mean, Sony just not succeed. So it's like, like that I get, but what I don't get is, um, like why you would wanna see gaming like go down tubes basically that part makes no sense to me because again the writing's on the wall like 
when they bought rare what did they do with it they made it a connect studio now it's freaking whatever sea of thieves is i don't know some freaking bull simulator with a c i mean a battle pass and then they bought mojang Freaking, of course, they only made Minecraft. Now they're doing Minecraft Dungeons. That has a battle pass. Freaking Gears 4, I don't think had a battle pass, but it was microtransaction heavy. Um, now here comes Gear, uh, Gears 5 with a battle pass. Freaking, uh... Halo under Bungie's uh, rule didn't have a battle pass, but oh look, under 343 now it has a battle pass, and it's go and it went free to play. It's like, yeah, we're kind of screwed. At least if you like single player games and like holding on to your money. Yeah, you're screwed. Because it's not totally, um, um, a thing that Microsoft just wants, uh, doesn't want freaking single player games because. Sure, they uh, make single player games, I'm not gonna lie, with, uh, like, they made uh, the gunk what well, was a uh, timed exclusive. Well, I bet it's gonna be the gunk. Then, uh, what else? Oh yeah, Cuphead, I get it. That was awful. <laughs> Freaking uh, right when I was talking, of course I had to sneeze. But yeah, Cuphead was a uh, time exclusive, uh, Super Lucky's Tale. Uh, and a bunch of other games. Uh, Tunic Des Door. I can't really remember them all, no. So it's like... If that's how committed they are to single player games. Just freaking indie single player games. It's like, yes, I know why uh, Starfield is single player, but it's kind of going to be riddled with uh, microtransactions with uh, the Christian club and probably others is it wait is a Christian club only um, premium or is just mods are there premium mods too? No, I think there's only premium Christian Club content. All the mods are free, if I remember right. But anyways, that's gonna be more freaking stupid. Uh, but yeah, I 
guess you could say freaking Xbox will have single player games. I'm not gonna say that you absolutely won't. It's just, yeah, they're not gonna be true single player games. Like, when I say that, I mean, like, without microtransactions. Yeah, I don't think they'll freaking do that. Uh, they'll try to, uh, to shoehorn freaking microtransactions in if, uh, if at all possible. But I guess they haven't been too freaking egregious on that. Because Forza Horizon 5 didn't have uh, microtransactions. Sure, it had DLC. Um, and, uh, freaking, like, what? Um,. Like DLC to reveal like treasure, like the bar barn finds and other collectibles. <laughs> you could pay for it's just like stuff like that, and. That's freaking stupid. Like, it's so long to freaking uh, freaking get that. His, uh, the equipment. Wait, what? Oh, it has 88. And this is, uh. Yeah, and that's 97. So it shouldn't. So it's not that much left. So I guess there just is a type that he seems awake to. And I don't know, freaking Mike Patches is washed up. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really think he is. Uh, because... Like, obviously, he was trying to compare, um... Like in Mortal Kombat 11, I think. He said, like, uh, there was a Kratos skin. And obviously, Microsoft didn't say anything about that. And it's like, no, duh, they didn't. But then he said, like, oh, yeah, they didn't say anything about that because they're not crybabies. And it's like... I don't know, is that really crying? Like, if one, if one company takes away, like, a money maker, is that really, 
um, crying about it because like like for example uh, freaking uh, of course you have a job and let's say someone takes it away from you by being like okay we'll freaking if you hire me you will just have a pay me less it's like then the other guys complaining because that is is that really crying <laughs> because you're out of job is that really crying i guess technically if you run and get really up uh, if you really want to split hairs i guess but um yeah anyone would do that but anyways i'm kind of getting off track it's like yeah you can't really do that well you can obviously but it's like that doesn't make sense uh that michael pactor was com trying to compare like what a three maybe four dollar skin um and compare to a uh, 68.9 billion dollar purchase i think that a little a little different just a little bit. But I don't know. I just love how stupid fanboys are. It's like, I don't know. Just stay stupid, I guess. Just stay stupid. I uh, accidentally went the wrong way, oops. Because I ever get uh, the map button for this game. I would have checked the map, but yeah, I completely forget it. Is it any of the D buttons? Is it the touchpad? No. Look, what freaking button is it? Uh, oops. Oh, it's R3, I brought. Okay. Yeah, because when he turned it off of uh, L3, like. Like, I'm not pushing it constantly, so it's like... So yeah, I guess I kind of forgot. And I don't know, maybe it's me, but I find that argument kind of stupid. Um, like, uh, if, yeah, Microsoft's basically saying, uh, well, at least other people think that, like, oh, it's better for gamers. Well, Michael Pachter said that it's better for gamers because you tech, well, is there's no technically about it. You don't have a buy a console, but it's like Money. But it's yeah, it's like uh when is enough enough? So it's like my Microsoft could buy Activision and say, Oh, it's better for the gamers 
Then they buy Ubisoft. Oh, it's better for the gamers. Then they buy EA. Oh, it's better for the gamers. Like sort of things like when will it stop? And uh, Mike Pactor was trying to compare Amazon buying MGM and compare it to Activision. It's like how? <laughs> I'm not saying, um, yeah, I'm not saying, uh, freaking MGM wouldn't hurt like competition because I think, no, actually, no. MGM wasn't on a lot of things. Like MGM wasn't on Disney Plus, it wasn't on Crave. I don't think it was on Netflix. So they're not going to be pulling um, content away from anyone. And it's like, and obviously MGM isn't, I'm gonna guess MGM isn't anywhere near the size of Activision. So again, like I don't understand that. It's like um, how I said before, Frickin' Xbox users were uh, comparing New Haven Studios uh, to Activision. It's like, how are they the same? New Haven uh, hasn't made a single frickin' game. And they're frickin'... I don't know, they're like... Freaking probably freaking like 80 90 percent smaller than Activision, <laughs> so it's like, uh, yeah, because Xbox users are basically saying, like, all uh, games are credited equal, and it's like. Uh, no, they're not. But it's not like I don't understand uh, why you want this to go through so badly. Obviously, it's because uh, Xbox is losing so hard uh, during the Xbox One era. And you want to see them succeed. But again, to see them succeed at the cost of, uh, of good games does not make sense to me. Because I remember uh, Phil Spencer was the Xbox uh, freaking thing, a uh, Twitter account saying like, oh, I'm glad uh, more people can play this great game when Minecraft Dungeons went to PlayStation Plus. Like, I played it. It's... It's so far from great, it's just, I don't know, it's sad, I guess. Like, if you call that a great game, it's like, I don't know where games are gonna freaking head after Microsoft acquires Activision.
but again I guess people want that for some reason They want games to become crappier. They want to be ripped off of by battle passes and all that. It's like, I don't know if that is uh, whining or well. It's like. Because freaking yeah, so well, like it's sorry, I don't know you. Why do I kind of really care? To be honest, I know I should, but I don't know. I just don't. For the most part. Oh, what? Wait, oh yeah, it is there. It's just, I could see better in this uh, view because it's black on um, a white color and um, a light color, I should say, and this is like a light color on a light color. It's like, yeah, I really don't understand why developers do that. Where it's like, it's a light color on a freaking light marker. A light marker on a light uh, freaking color. It's like, of course you can't see that very well. But they constantly do it. I have no idea why. There's... It's not like there isn't... What, 26 colors in the rainbow? Or... I could be wrong about that. Because I don't know what... Uh, how many colors they actually are. But yeah, I, what I do know is it's definitely more than one color. Yeah, I guess I will do that. Uh, is this any better? No. Uh, is that like attack is better, but whatever, like. Uh, health isn't. It's like I can't see it. The, uh, the writing is so small. I. Yeah, it's uh, under health. My health is 290. 
Oh, I think, um, yeah, I don't understand that actually. Why is there two health bars? Like, obviously, there's a big number, then under that, there's like this really small number. Uh, should I worry about that or no? Oh no, I don't wanna do that. Like I know why freaking Phil Spencer says that. Like, oh, it's all about, uh, like, competition. Whoa. Him and, uh, Xbox users say that. And it's like, okay, but... How is that competition? I really don't see it as competition because... You're not making, like, new IPs, you're just, uh, feeding off of, uh, Activision and their existing IPs, so it's like, I don't see that as competition, you're just hogging it all for yourself. And, uh, they say that, uh, oh, it's, uh, for, like, Sony to get better, and it's like, how exactly? You know it will have the opposite effect, because obviously they're, they're a company, so they're gonna freaking make the most, uh, make the most games, well, the game that's worth the most. And obviously right now that's the uh, last of us. So they're probably gonna milk the uh, last of us because of the Activision deal. And remind me again how that makes Sony better. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, it's like, that's all excuses to make Sony better. Like, I won't say it's a hundred percent excuses because, yeah, it's, uh, 
would uh, force uh, like PlayStation Plus be better uh, to get like new releases into Game Pass? I mean, into PlayStation Plus. But, like, I don't know, people have a, a weird sense of that, what Xbox does, because it's like, why is a newer game better than an older game? I don't know, that's just really my question why is an older game worse than a newer game it's like I understand uh, you'll more likely play um, uh, have the older game in your library okay but if that's your only argument, then it's like, that isn't much of an argument. Because it's like... Freaking Microsoft themselves are embracing uh, backwards compatible games. But um, then they're also sending mixed signals of saying like freaking newer games are better than old games, but they focused on uh, backwards compatibility games for so long it's like yeah they don't even I think they don't even know what they're freaking saying at this point they're just trying to really convince you that yeah this is better for the game for gaming community when it isn't they're just really desperately trying to convince you <laughs> And I don't know, people will just, yeah, I don't like to think for themselves, so it's like, so of course it's working, because yeah, people don't like to think for themselves. Which, that just confuses the hell of me too, because it's like... Because it's like, yeah, I don't know if people were just intelligent to begin with, then it would be like more of like, okay. But yeah, I won't say people are intelligent because I don't know. It's just, it's a weird freaking common sense is kind of uncommon it's like that doesn't make any sense 
That's why it's called common sense because it's common. But when it's not common, that's like it just really does not make sense anymore. <laughs> And I don't know, it's just so weird. Where uh, my friend says, oh yeah, he's all about uh, freaking thinking for himself but it's like why are you not doing it now thinking for yourself because like yeah if I think if you did you would probably see a lot of holes in freaking Microsoft's logic right now Because I see a lot of frickin' holes in their logic. Um, especially in that, uh, what is it? Oh yeah, that, uh, interview they did with, uh, Xbox On, I guess. Because he said like, oh, I want more people to play our games, but then a lot of Xbox games are exclusive, so it's like, uh, how does that make more people play your game again? <laughs> But, uh, he said, uh, freaking obviously exclusives are, um, a part of, uh, the gaming industry. And it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but then, if that's the case, then why not make those games tied exclusive? Because it's like, yeah, if uh, freaking exclusives are part of gaming, it's like, okay. Um, and, like, and that brings in the money, uh, because people go over to your console, I get that. But making it timed exclusive, also makes um, it available to more people. It's just you want to make it available to more people on the Xbox. That's what you're not saying. And it's like, that's why I don't like Phil Spencer because like, I don't know, he's like a slimy uh, business salesman or car salesman, I should say. Because he says 
pretty much anything to make the sale go through. And it's like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but people like that, I do not like. It's like, uh, it's like I know freaking... Uh, you have to make a living and all that. I understand that. But making a living at other people's expenses, expense by like lying to them or vaguely lying to them is like, yeah, don't you have morals? Aren't you like a human being? <laughs> I don't know, it's just... To me, it's like some scam art, like scam artists and con artists and all that, it's like... I don't know. Like, don't you have morals? Aren't you a human being? Like, I don't know, it's like... To me, those people are just utter garbage. And it seems like Phil Spencer is that, uh, is a person like that. It's just like... How are you this scummy, dude? But whatever, I guess. But anyway, I'm needed to take a sip of water. But yeah, I guess um, it is that. this the uh, way you've been raised up. Because, like, I don't know, I've been raised up. Well, and I also taught myself to, like, yeah, money's nice and everything, but, like, I don't know, life is more than just money, honestly. <laughs> But I know there is people out there that just, I don't know, that would marry money, I guess. And it's like, I honestly don't understand that.
But whatever, I guess. And yeah, I don't know why I sometimes think of that. Well, this morning I was thinking of that freaking King Grumps. It's just because, like, yeah, I know I talked about Microsoft for a while, but whatever. You know, switching gears to something else is like, yeah, I was weirdly thinking about Game Grumps, and it's like, I was uh, wondering. I don't know why I was wondering this, but why, uh, don't I like, um, Game Grumps that much? And it's like, yeah, I saw one of their, well, it was on my, uh, YouTube feed, like a clip of theirs, and... I don't know what they were freaking uh freaking joking about but it's like I think that's why I don't like King Grumps is because they're just obnoxious and annoying. It's like I understand being upbeat all the time because obviously but yeah, being upbeat all the time is just annoying and freaking obnoxious, I guess you could say. More annoying than anything. And I think that's why I don't like them. I know that um, one way to get freaking uh, followers being upbeat all the time and being loud because that equals uh, funny somehow, but okay. And it's like, I'm not gonna lie, freaking. Uh, the loud equals funny sort of thing is like I'm not gonna say I've never um, gotten a laugh out of that because yeah it's true I'm not gonna l lie and say it isn't funny being loud but um I don't know, it just gets really annoying really quick, too. As well, I should say. It's also that with, uh, like, laughter is contagious sort of thing. So they're always laughing, and, yeah, like, it's freaking like, if they're having a good time, you're likely having a good time, but it's like, I'm not going to say that isn't true at all because that would be a lie, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just annoying, honestly. Well, I think it's more annoying than anything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I don't know why I did that, and I think I, was, I should stop because all this is. Christ, I hate those fucking sweeps. I mean, cause he does them like constantly and like freaking they take so much damage. I mean, do so much damage. God damn it. Sears of Swoosh just took down half my health. It's like he's too freaking powerful. I did that because, yeah, it's too freaking hard. I don't understand. And, like, I don't know why I'm just freaking sneezing and sneezing and sneezing and sneezing. It's like, holy cow, just stop already. <laughs> So, um, I think what I'm gonna have to do, it sucks, but what I'm gonna have to do is freaking like, just grind. Oh, what time is it? Oh, do you wanna do that freaking... Uh, play, obviously, play this for an hour, then play something else for an hour. Because, like, this is why, uh, I don't really like this game. Because... 
Yeah, the difficulties is freaking outrageous. Or do you want to do that? Like obviously stop. Uh, obviously stop this. Um, freaking do life things and come back. I'll probably play um, what is it? Minecraft dungeons. Probably just for another hour, to be honest, then stop. Because it's Saturday, well, of course I don't want to go that long. Yeah, do you want to do that? Oh, like, to be honest, kind of. Um... Yeah, honestly, kind of. Okay, if I... Oh no, I can't. I have a fast travel somewhere else. Then fast travel back. Yeah, I'm gonna do uh, that. Fast travel there, then fast travel back. But I don't really want to grind, though. But at the same time, I don't want to end it, like, immediately. So I will, like, uh, take out these guys.
So that's what the thing can do. Like, uh, go to, um, I did poorly there. Oh, freaking keep doing it it's poorly where it's like I take them down to almost freaking until they're dead and freaking just hit them. Uh, because obviously she's the strongest. And demon because I've been upgrading her the most have their own individual uh, freaking level uh, trees N well not level trees but level points I guess I should say that's weird to say but yeah they have their own individual level point or skill points So yeah, I have to constantly use uh, the freaking guys to make them stronger. That's kind of not annoying. Well, because obviously, obviously they start off uh, weak. So it's like, it's just a freaking nightmare trying to make them stronger in that. But I guess that's why you have, um... I like, uh, those... Like, those scrolls shared beyond, um... Like, shared between all the demons. And it's like, okay, that's cool. 
But that would be cooler, like, freaking you didn't, uh, get them every so often. Like, if they were more frequent than that. Because they're so infrequent right now, it's like I don't even want to use them. Because obviously. Yeah, I do want to clear this whole thing, probably not, I just saw here because that was, I think that's enough grinding for right now. I think any more grinding and I was just, freaking don't want to do it right now to be honest. There it is. So where is there more equipment? Oh yeah, this does help that, okay. For some reason, I didn't think it would. So, like, yeah, I think I would want more health than, uh, freaking that. Uh, then attack. Okay. 
Yeah, sucks. This is pretty much all about grinding. Yeah, I don't know. It changes a little number, but not the big number. And I don't see what it's even changing into. But then when I do this, freaking it changes that uh, by 30. So I'm going to try something. If I do this, does it? Yeah, it doesn't change the number at all. And all of us a minus uh, 32 health and plus 12 to freaking attack isn't a fair trade at all, so no. Oh, it does 11. So yeah, that's not a fair trade at all. Minus 30 health. Uh, just to do plus 11 attack. It's like, nope. That's not a fair trade. But, yeah, this I'm so confused by. Like it, uh does plus attack and minus health, but health isn't, it doesn't seem to be affected. But whatever, I'll figure that out on my own, I guess. And save it. And yeah, I, yeah, I will do that. Um, like be frickin' an hour, if not two hours, to f do life stuff and, uh, frickin' come back with what? Oh, Minecraft Dungeons for another hour? I would, do. Uh, do you wanna do Genshin Impact, actually? Um, yeah, I'm probably Genshin Impact, because it's like, I don't know, I can't play that game for that long anymore, I don't know why, like, I think an hour is enough, um, longer than that is like, no thanks. Well, just because that event is going on, if it wasn't, I would have probably done Minecraft Dungeons. But anyways, I want to say thanks for all the watching, all the good stuff. And I'll try to be back in an hour, but two hours at the most. And this time, I'll dilly-dally and go over, like, like last time, I forget, like I think it was one, no, Thursday, where it's like, I said I would be back in two hours, but it was three hours, oopsies, but yeah, I won't diddy dally. 
and actually be back in probably two hours. But anyways, whatever, I'll press the share button, and I'll and uh, stop, yes.